we are live ma'am okay so morning students welcome to this biochemistry recall session of july 2023 exam so let's get started if you can also help me in uh, in helping the recall making the framing the questions then you can uh, tell me in the chat box so let's start so mainly questions were on vitamins right so let's my vitamins minerals so what answer you marked for this the first question which i have got is this poor wound healing is due to deficiency of poor wound healing is due to deficiency of options are zinc copper iron and selenium here answer is zinc zinc deficiency leads to poor wound healing also vitamin c and vitamin a deficiency leads to poor wound healing so here vitamin c and a not given and only zinc given out of these three so you will mark zinc right so students let's make it an interactive session yeah so keep asking your doubts or keep making uh, helping me and also help me in making the questions and answers better what was the recall and anyways if uh, we the recall question is not even proper but the topic is important which is asked in the exam so we can always read that topic so next is a farmer is spring farmer is spring an odorless chemical in the fields which is an inhibitor of complex 3 of etc identify the compound options are bl bal rhodinone cyanide and antimycin 3 sorry antimycin a so this antimycin is the answer it inhibits complex 3 of etc and is used in fields right cyanide is not the answer because it inhibits complex 4 Rotenone inhibits complex one, right? And bal also inhibits complex three, but answer is antimycin three, antimycin A here. Okay. Next is chronic alcoholic patient confusion. A patient, a chronic alcoholic patient, presented to hospital. So this was a clinical case question. The patient has confusion. Warning is aphasia. Aphasia is inability to speak or understand. an unstable gait so patient has deficiency of i have told you so many times that wernicke's and b1 deficiency is so much related because vitamin b1 interferes uh, alcohol interferes alcohol interferes with vitamin b1 absorption also these patients are not eating properly so a chronic alcoholic patient is always drinking right so focus on drinking and uh, so nutrient deficiencies occurs mainly vitamin b1 because directly alcohol interferes with vitamin b1 deficiency with vitamin b1 absorption so it will lead to vitamin b1 deficiency normally b1 deficiency is called beriberi right but in case of alcoholics in case of alcoholics it is called wernicke encephalopathy because it is severe that's why it is called it is given a name syndrome wernicke encephalopathy in which patient has confusion aphasia unstable gait also of thalmoplegia occurs right vitamin c deficiency will lead to scurvy and bleeding gums and who are been wound healing i told you vitamin d deficiency leads to rickets and osteomalacia and b3 deficiency leads to pellagra the patient has dermatitis diarrhea photosensitive dermatitis kaiser's necklace diarrhea dementia and even death can occur because of this vitamin deficiency 
and vitamin B3 is formed from tryptophan. Tryptophan makes niacin. 60 mg tryptophan, which is, a, which is an amino acid that makes a vitamin niacin that is 1 mg. Okay, so this is frequently asked. Too much of tryptophan, that is 60 mg taken, and only 1 mg niacin is formed. This also you should learn. So, along with it, we are revising the topics. Our focus is to learn the topics which are asked in exam. So, more of vitamins and minerals are asked. So, you should read these topics very nicely and they are very easy also. You have been reading it since school time. So, now uh, as a doctor, you should be very well aware of vitamin and mineral deficiencies uh, because these are very common these days. So, if a doctor, a clinician is not able to recognize, not able to diagnose, these uh, deficiencies, then uh, it is a blender. So that's why I think the, these topics are frequently asked these days. So we are focusing on the rare things, but we are um, not seeing the common things, right? We're not well aware of the common things. That is the blender. So next is a uh, fourth question here. Patient with gum bleed and decreased absorption of iron. This was asked. So tell me the answer. It is vitamin C. Gum bleeding. This is curvy. And vitamin C helps in absorption of iron by converting it into ferrous form. And ferrous form is absorbed, right? Next is which amino acid will form oxalate? So many times I told you oxaloacetate forms aspartate forms asparagine like this we always do in our theory asparagine how by we, do, we keep on adding a minor group and we have learned the sequence oxaloacetate to aspartate to asparagine right so keep on adding a minor group on the other hand we have alpha ketoglutarate to glutamate to glutamine. All these compounds are four carbon and all these compounds are G. Alpha ketoglutarate, glutamate, glutamine, they are five carbons, right? So answer is, which amino acid will form oxalate? So by loss of amino group, aspartate will form oxaloacetate. So answer is, as part it here, right? The next is transport of glucose on contraluminal side of the intestinal cell. So in intestine, we have uh, glutes also. We have SGLT also. What is this SGLT? SGLT is sodium dependent glucose transport. What is this GLUT? Main glucose transporters. So this is SGLT secondary active way of transport. Glutes are facilitative way of transport. Glutes are bidirectional. On the other hand, SGLT is unidirectional. SGLT is unidirectional and it is against the concentration gradient. On the other hand, glutes are bidirectional and they are down the concentration gradient down the concentration gradient, right? Now, what is the answer? Which GLUT is present on which side of the membrane? So see this diagram. Towards apical side or luminal side of the membrane, we have SGLT, SGLT1 in case of intestine. And GLUT is on the basolateral side of the membrane. So here the question was on contralateral, contraluminal, means opposite to lumen. That is basolateral side of the membrane. So answer is GLUT2. Right? So answer is GLUT2. Right? Next, neonate on breast feeding. So diet is milk. Develops hypoglycemia and jaundice. Was hypoglycemia there in the question? Urine Benedict's test is positive. What is the enzyme deficiency? Usually we say that if hypoglycemia is written, 
then the question will be going towards diagnosis will be going towards fructose hereditary fructose intolerance and if it is normal blood glucose then it is normal blood glucose then it is galactose right so here i am confused if this hypoglycemia should not be there in the question so breastfeeding and jaundice and urine urine benedict's test they are going towards galactosemia in galactosemia patient's blood glucose is normal so answer classical galactosemia enzyme defect is galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase right next is which mineral deficient in the patient with complaints of diarrhea dermatitis loss of appetite and defective wound healing so when you see diarrhea dermatitis you tend to mark niacin but be careful diarrhea dermatitis is there plus there is loss of appetite defective wound healing here answer is zinc it is the case of acrodermatitis enteropathica i have told you in the video of zinc a separate video on zinc is made so let's read this here also diarrhea and dermatitis acrodermatitis enteropathica yes it is rare autosomal recessive genetic disorder zinc is not getting absorbed from the intestine so patient has zinc deficiency simultaneous diarrhea and dermatitis develop in the child <clears throat> patient has inflammation around now nose mouth anus cheeks and elbow so it also occurs in some infants after weaning from breast milk as breast milk has picolinic acid and picolinic acid increase zinc absorption from intestine right so next oil drop cataract oil drop cataract if this clinical case was asked so answer is galactosemia so whatever uh, questions we have got till now we are discussing that then glut then this this question is it complete so this is it whatever biochemistry questions i have got is so mainly question was on uh, minerals vitamins and galactosemia oil drop cataract and galactosemia which cataract occur in hereditary fructose intolerance in hereditary fructose intolerance which cataract occurs here no cataract occurs be careful in diabetes which cataract occurs in wilson's disease so in diabetes there is snowflake cataract in wilson's disease there is sunflower cataract right so this is it with this session do send us the questions if we have missed any questions in this recall session so thanks for attending bye bye